Caterpillar infestation on globe spruce. Globe spruce Picea pungens glauca globosa enhances the sunny small space garden in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 2 through 7 with year round color and architectural interest. Growing a scant 2 to 4 inches annually to an ultimate 3 to 5 foot height and 4 to 6 foot spread, this flat topped, shimmering silver blue conifer flourishes in acidic, well drained soil in a cool summer climate. Globe spruce benefits from supplemental water during drought and may occasionally require treatment for needle-devouring caterpillars. Bagworms ULL never see the female bagworm moths Thyridopteryx ephemeriformis on your globe spruce. These unusual insects exist within black pupil sacs encased in rust brown, spindle-shaped bags made of silk webbing and bits of plant debris. The winged, charcoal black male moths survive just long enough to mate after emerging from their own protective bags. Before dying, the females produce up to 1,000 creamy white, wax-covered eggs. In spring or early summer, the newly hatched brown larvae feed on globe spruce s needles while building their own camouflage bags. Bagworm Damage The tips of a globe spruce in the early stages of bagworm infestation fade to brown. Heavy feeding may strip the spruce of its needles. The young caterpillars sometimes hang from the branches on silky threads and move to nearby plants on wind currents. While the pest's inability to migrate more than a few yards limits the damage they do, the original host may spread infestations for years. Budworms Spruce budworms Choristinura fumiferana and Choristinura occidentalis periodically decimate wild spruces and occasionally attack cultivated ones. Their presence on your spruce one tea become noticeable for several months. In early fall, the yellow-green caterpillars hatch from clusters of pale green eggs that three-quarters inch, gray or brown mottled female moths deposit on the needles undersides. They shelter beneath bud scales or in bark crevices, spinning cocoon-like structures and emerging in spring. During their first four molts, they feed on developing buds before weaving the new needles into protective nests. By midsummer, the mature, white spotted brown caterpillars stop eating and pupate. Budworm Damage Budworm caterpillars consume huge numbers of new globe spruce needles. Those they don't eat, they sever at the bases and leave clinging to the shrub inside their webs. These needles fade to brown over the summer, giving the spruce a scorched look. The pupating caterpillar's rust-colored cocoons magnify this effect. In addition to ruining its appearance, the needle loss causes a major slowdown in photosynthesis and stunts your spruce's growth. A budworm infestation lasting three or more years may be fatal. Managing Caterpillar Infestations Managing bagworm infestations on compact globe spruces is as easy as pruning and crushing the egg-containing bags between fall and spring. To treat budworms, spray the plant thoroughly during the two weeks after bud break with a mixture of 1-2 to two teaspoons or the label as specified amount of wettable Bacillus thuringiensis powder for each one gallon of soft water. This solution starves newly hatched caterpillars by impeding their digestion. Treat your spruce in early evening to protect the UV-sensitive Bt organisms.